Hey guys, I'm coming to you with another video today. Um, as you can see from the title, it's all about my scoop piercing, which is a tongue piercing. Um, but before I get started, I do want to say thank you to all of my subscribers, all my new subscribers. I'm like gaining subscribers every day, slowly but surely. And I just wanted to say thank you to you all. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe for new videos. I'm coming out with videos pretty often now, which I'm very proud of. So I'm going to keep it up. I'm not going to let you guys down. But um, anyways, into the video, um, like I said, it's about my scoop piercing. I've had this piercing now. Today is Friday and this coming Monday will be two weeks. But this is actually my third time getting it. I first got this piercing in 2012 when I graduated high school. Then I got recently got it again last or this past October, and I just got it like I said about two weeks ago again. I'm gonna give you the rundown of all this stuff, so I'll just stay tuned, guys. <laughs> this piercing it was in 2012 when I graduated high school because I wanted this piercing for a while and my mom was like no I don't think so so when I graduated high school I got it but she still was like you're not grown take it out so I literally guys had it for like a day and I had to take it out I was so upset um but the pain tolerance on that it was about a I would say about a five out of ten Cause it didn't hurt at all but i didn't get to experience like the swelling and all that because like i said i had it for like a day so all i can tell you on that one is just how it felt getting it done which wasn't that bad and then i recently got it done like i said this past october around the middle of october before my birthday and i had to get rid of it around um I would say like the middle to the end of November and this reason was work work related because someone snitched on me at work because we're not supposed to have this stuff but whatever anyways someone told my manager that I had it and she found out blah 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 I ended up having to take it out so I had that one for like a good month or so so the pain tolerance on getting that one done it hurt a little bit more I would say but it yeah, it hurt a little bit more. It was about, I would say, a 6 out of 10. And since I was able to actually actually experience the pain and swelling of all that stuff this time, the swelling, honestly, like people say, it was not that easy to deal with. It was hard for me to eat for, like, a good week. Like, the first two days, I was so upset because I couldn't eat anything. Like, I was trying to eat noodles, and I couldn't even eat noodles. Like, guys, it was that serious. Like, it was hurting so bad. But I was not going to take it out because, like I said, I tried to get this piercing years ago, and I couldn't have it. So I was not taking it out, but it was just, it hurt really bad. But um, I stuck through it, and then once it, the swelling went down and all that stuff, like, the piercing was fine. Like, you barely even know it's there anymore. Um, yeah, and then, like I said, I had to take it out because of work, but, uh, I recently just got it back, like I said, two weeks ago, and it's because the manager that found out is no longer there, <laughs> so, of course, rubble me, <laughs> I got it back, um, but yeah, it looks like this, It's nothing under as you can see it's like a horizontal piercing through your tongue and there's like two balls on top nothing under and I wanted this piercing I don't know I just like how it looks compared to like the snake eyes on the tip like I think those are cute too but I don't know I just like this one and then I didn't want like a full-on tongue piercing like vertical you know like through your whole tongue because like for one like that's a big bar and I feel like it'll aggravate the heck out of me and then for two because I don't want a whole thing going through my tongue I don't know like you know there's veins under there anything could happen even though they're supposed to pierce it bottom up so you can see the veins but I still didn't feel like having to deal with all that because I'm not gonna go to the hospital for a piercing so anyways I got this one I love 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 it as you guys probably already know anyway considering this is the third time I'm getting it so 
yeah um and the pain tolerance on this one this time it was literally like a three out of ten like it didn't hurt at all like she did it really quick like done and then like the i didn't have any pain or swelling with this one which was weird i don't know maybe my tongue was just like okay i, I already know what this is so i'm not going to even like bother you but i didn't have any pain or swelling with my tongue this time so the first day i was literally able to eat a full course meal so i was very happy about that um so i don't know this time was a breeze so yeah and i plan on keeping it in because like i said the manager isn't there anymore and for two i found uh on ebay a clear piercing and it's like the balls are like itty 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 bitty so i wear that to work and then on the weekends when i'm off i just change it back to this one and um yes about it i love this piercing guys like i would say if you're thinking about getting it or you wanted to get it or whatever i would say do it because it doesn't hurt it's not that bad and i love how it looks like everyone thinks it's like two piercings when they look at it i'm like no it's one piercing but i don't know i think that was all i had to tell you guys like the pain swelling all that jazz I keep in the, this is the actual ring that I got pierced with. I keep this one in. I don't know. I just like it. The ones I found on eBay, they're pretty, but uh, they're like, the balls are really tiny. And I don't know. Like, I just like how the bigger ones look. I don't know. <laughs> so, I like I said, I just got the small clear one for work because it's perfect for work. So, or hiding it, whatever you're trying to do. I don't know. But... Yeah, I am thinking about getting some colorful, like some color ones, but like I said, the balls are smaller, so I don't know. They're just not as cute to me, like because you, I don't know. Whatever, guys. I'm blab, I'm babbling, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I think that was about it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys an update on that, and um, yeah, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you guys on any information that you need to know about this piercing and all that stuff oh one more thing though before i go to walk to like clean it what i did was take like listerine and you mix it with like a little bit of water so it doesn't sting because it will sting because this is a cut you know technically in your tongue so what i did was take listerine and um like i said a little bit of water and i just rinsed that around my mouth every time i ate or anything that you do with your mouth whatever but you just rinse your mouth out every time you do something and it keeps it clean so it definitely helps and it doesn't burn which is good and um yeah when you first get this done do stay away from hot wings and spicy foods because it will burn guys i remember the like the second time i got it done like the, like even ketchup burned ketchup and orange juice and stuff like that even hurts so i would recommend like at least the first couple days to a week or so stay away from like all that type stuff but um yeah guys like comment and subscribe for me i hope this video helped you guys and until the next time guys bye